Yeah, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to this session. Last time we stopped at Canva, and uh, you guys were giving an assignment to produce a deliverable using Canva, and most of you have uh, submitted their deliverables, and that's quite commending. I can say that we have um, good graphic designers. If you add more input to what you've done, you are going to be applying not just as a virtual assistant, but as a professional graphic designer. Thank you for that. So we are continuing um, with uh, Invoicely. Invoicely offer a powerful but easy to use platform for all your invoicing need, both freelance, small to medium business enterprises. So it is very, very simple and very powerful. All you need is, this is the template. If you log into Invoicely and you want to create an invoice, which you send to um, your clients, this is how it's going to be. As a virtual assistant, you'll be required to be sending invoices to so many clients of your organization. And to do that, you need a software like Invoicely to do that. But you might not really be required to use Invoicely, but the knowledge of how to use Invoicely will aid you to use any kind of um, invoice management uh, software to create any kind of invoice. I work as a freelancer as well. And I'll be using this uh, to be um, creating my invoices I'm sending to my, to my clients. Because if you're working as a freelancer, you need to send invoice before you can be paid. So this is how uh, it is done. You need this to, to create a code as well. So as a virtual assistant, Invoicely will aid you to understand. There are so many of the ones you type invoice um, creation, or if you just type invoice, Google will bring out so many invoice web application that you can use for free. But I just picked one. I picked one because it's very simple and it gives you everything you want to, to do. So, so let's um, look for Invoicely and see how it looks like. Let's look at the web page. is invoicely.com. So this is how it looks like, very simple. I think I have account here. Thank you. 
If I don't know an account, So this is um, invoicely and um, I think it's free. But you can see we have a paid version. So So if we want to create an invoice, this is the page you are going to use. Describe a kind of um, invoice you are creating. Upload company logo or your image to give it um, official background. You can see from me, it's already, it's already using my address, address I use here, and um, the currency you want, you can change it to any currency you want. The invoice, due date, purchase order, and um, item name and description or the service whatever service quantity amount subtotal total balance and uh, 
and just put a simple note. And after all these things, you can generate your invoice, you know? So, I will not be, I don't need to fill all this form, but once you fill all this form, you've created an invoice, we'll help you to generate an invoice. It's either you save here, you send, and that is it. You can equally send the, you have sent this invoice directly to the client address. So, that is um, that is how this invoice will work. So as you can see it's very is very is very the user interface is very clear. It's not uh, very simple. So that is it for invoice lay. So a very simple one. And the virtual assistant goes, they ask you to create an invoice. If they don't have any particular one they are using, you can jump in here and quickly generate an invoice for your company and that's it. Then we have um, hunter.io. Hunter.io is very powerful application for lead generation. Hunter lets you find professional email address in second and connect with people that matters to your business. <laughs> Uh, at times you just um, open your email and you see a lot of you see a lot of um, unsolicited emails coming to you. How do they do that? Is how they how do they know my email? How do they do this? It's through lead generation. Once you're in this uh, hunter.io, you can help you generate official emails even a lot of emails yahoo boys these are what the yahoo boys use to get all these emails they they use to fire you hear that somebody on a clock how do they get contact you will imagine how they hear that someone they defrauded a, a big uh, bank officer in uh, malaysia or brazil or this we ask how do they get, generate all this? How do they find out their email or this and that? Hunter.io help you to generate emails. So that is it. So you can be working as a virtual assistant and their job is to be generating lead for your companies, you know? And you'll be sending, be generating this thing. They have the templates. You all you do generating these um, leads, emails, and be sending. Before you know it, one or two people will start responding to all these emails you are sending, and discussion will start. And from discussion, somebody might start even buying your product, or be, before you know it, the person turn into your customer. So that is it. So the, 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 those days of um, conventional email marketing has gone. This is the first step towards um, email marketing. Let's look at the hunter.io interface and see how it works.
Okay, we are back. So let's um, hunter.io, let's just go there. So this is um, how it looks like, very simple, this. So from here, you can um, search for company and uh, all the emails associated with that company will appear. So let's um, let's see the price in here. They have free version, and on their free version, you can search for up to twenty-five emails in a month. So that's um, how they do it. And the starter, you can search for up to 500 emails and continue uh, to 2,500 emails based on uh, this growth license. And you want a pro license, you can get up to 10,000. And if you want business, like that's why companies can just with this search for get up to 30,000 emails and they just send their promo to 30,000. Before you know it, like 20 or 15,000 will respond. That's how to do marketing and get the results. Let's log in and see how their system looks like. So I'm in now, and you can see I'm on free plan. So this is searches. If I search from here, I can get this in. Let me see. So now I'm searching for Zenith Bank. And you can see I'm getting 181 results in Zenith Bank. Let's see. Zenith Bank. OK, let's see zenithbank.com. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're getting. Let's click and see. So you can see, you can see here Maria, Lego Maria at Aba at zenithbank.com, customer care. Daniela Ima, Ima, Imani at zenithbank, that is Imani. Marina Lagos, Marina2 at zenithbank.com, Jones. So if I'm looking at engaging or starting a business with a Zenith Bank, uh, I can just from here get all these their emails 
and fire to them. And before you know it, they start report, they start um, responding to me. If I want it on their support, I want it on their HR or IT, that is it. So that is what Don Hunter, Hunter Hunt for professional emails, help you connect immediately. You start doing business immediately. So let's see MTM. So MTM Nigeria. Let's see. Mm -mm. MTN. Oh. See. So you can see we'll start getting MTN, MTN Afghanistan, MTN. So Let's search. And you see, this is the result. We are getting powerful, powerful people are getting contact of powerful people in MTN, you know? So, if you're wondering do how those Yahoo boys, how to get all these contacts, this is how they do it. So if you now want to do an internship in MTN, this is internship MTN, UG at mtn.com. So, jobs to dot ROI at mtn.com. So, that is it. That is Hunter. So, We can equally find using this particular method as email. We can equally find using author. If we're looking for a particular maybe book or blog or something, we can get email using this. This is a um, email verifier to validate the email so you can use this but i think this one is um uh they have a premium version i think how many let's see let's yeah, see within my free version so you can verify the emails and you can search by bulk and after that you can add the add the link so all these things once you get somebody somebody respond to all this email you send you can actually start a lead from here but there's no lead for now so and that's it. We can equally create a campaign, but is um is a premium version. We can't do that from here. And we equally need to sign in to either of these in order to do that. As you can see, these have got a lot of functionalities. 
to start your email marketing and you start getting results. So when you are being employed, you can be employed as a as a as a market as a digital marketer or email marketer and we'll be doing all this you all will be doing is searching they will give you maybe the kind of promotion templates they use so you'll be searching and be sending emails professional emails talking about your products campaigning about your products and you'll be getting results so that is a hunter.io for you very powerful it looks very simple but it can deliver overwhelming results so now do you have any questions so far before we move to the next um, application Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you were saying, you said that there is no lead. So please, I wanted to understand the main thing that is lead generation. What is lead? Lead. Lead generation is to, to something that will lead you to get a customer. That is what we mean by lead, lead generation. Lead generation means getting first step. That is lead. First step towards getting a customer. If you are looking for customer as a marketer, what does marketers do? Marketers go from place to Alaba to Ushudi to, uh, you can see all these bankers driving around, say they are doing marketing, begging people to come and uh, create accounts in their bank. So what they are doing is marketing. What they are doing is they are look, is that is still lead. All these things they are doing, driving, going to Oshodi, uh, going to Alaba, going to Chanjame market, looking for talking to people. All these things they are sharing their flyers, giving their their um, their card. They issue us. They go out to market or this thing. They start giving out their complimentary card telling you to come and register with your bank. We call it lead. They are looking for a lead. They don't have a customer. You are not their customer, you know? So now, once you take their card, because they will give cards, some people will not agree to take their card or this. Once you give their card, that is the first step. Even if you, didn't read, you, you do not read the card, you might keep it in your in your post. One day you just pick it up and call them. Uh, you want to open an account. Have you seen that um, how this thing becomes uh, that their marketing activity, sharing their card, and this thing is effective? Another one is if you are in um, uh, a shopping mall. And then when you gentleman uh, approach to you and say hi, I just like you. Uh, you can give me a call, give you my ID card, my complimentary card. That is a, a lead. If you don't, if you take that ID uh, complimentary card, you might not. But one day you might just say, let me just, let me just give this guy a call, and from there. Something after the first talk with the guy, you might the guy might just make you happy, make you laugh. And next time, by the time you may give back your own contacts, and from there you people start talking. And before you know it, the guy is now your boyfriend. So that complimentary card becomes the lead. So how do you create, how do you initiate that lead? 
the first step. So, Contact.io will help you to generate this email you don't have, you don't know these people, but you generate the email, the official email, you know? And once they see, maybe you are working with Microsoft as their marketer. So once Zenith Bank open their, a Zenith Bank officer open his uh, or her email, official email, and see an email from Microsoft. Ah. The next thing is to open the, the to open the, the message. And what, what is to find more that, that curiosity? And after reading the, the email, you might okay, re reply to the email. And from there, before you know it. Zenith Bank and uh, Microsoft have now become customers. That is how it works. Have I answered your question? Yes, sir. Okay. Any more yeah, questions? Sir, okay. Any more questions? Yes, sir. Please. And what is the situation whereby you don't know if you? Hello, can you hear me? You are sounding far away from me. Your... You are sounding far away from your okay, sister. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm not saying what is the situation whereby you don't know the company's name. Let's say you just know somebody, but you don't know the, the company. Or how can you be searching? You how can you be searching for company you don't know the name? Hmm? Okay, no, I was thinking like uh, maybe I want to send message to somebody, but I know the person, but I don't know the person's company. Uh, I wanted to find out if there's a way it can be. Then it, it can still be there. You search by name, it will give you a lot of names, similar names, just like uh, you are searching for names in uh, Facebook. I will provide you and will bring a lot of names within the database. So, but what they do is that they will have uh, their, um, their bots that will tend to go and search through all the domain network and search for names related to that, just like um, company related to what you are looking for. Is uh, it, it can be done, but I've not done research to that extent. Is uh, beyond the uh, the scope of this course to tell you. Uh, so if you need to know more about what you can obtain from hunter.io, you can do your personal research. Yeah. 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 Isoma, you are raising your hand. Hello. Okay, let's crack on. So the last one we are be dealing we'll be dealing here is um, on data security management. This is the most popular. I think there are some other ones, but this is the most popular within um, data security. So this it will help you we call it a last pass is a password manager that securely stores your password and uh, personal information in a secured vault. So it's very difficult to manage um, emails, I mean, um, passwords, very, very difficult. 
when you when you are growing in a, in the IT profession, you're managing a lot of um, application. You are navigating from one app. Like you can see, since I've been teaching on this, I've navigated through so many applications, and I'm equally um, teaching on business analysis. There's so many applications on business analysis I'm navigating, logging in, logging out. Then there is uh, project management. There are so many. So when you have so many applications, you are moved in and out, you find out that, um, and you, you're supposed to have a unique uh, password. It will be very difficult to remember all the password. Very, very difficult. So all you do is, you come here, you store all your password here. And once you need it from here, you just get your password. And um, that is it. To so help you to manage your password. So once you'll be managing, as a virtual assistant, you're managing your um, a lot of password, credit card, all these things for your clients, emails, applications. So when you have all this, a lot of uh, password, all you need is just register with uh, LastPass and this will help you to store all this uh, password. And you find out that even to log into some of all these things will become just a click from here and you are there. So, and nobody will be, the issue of um, hacking your password, if you are doing that, performing most of your activity through here, it will be very difficult. So as you can see here, there is a Twitter, this email, this Twitter email, the password is secured here. This Dropbox, the password is secured here. Facebook, Mailchimp, Evernote, all these applications, they've got their password, credit card, bank account, driver's license, passport. This one application helps you secure all these things very securely. So it's a very powerful data and security management software. Uh, let's see how it works. So this is how last pass looks like. So if you are new, I think it's going to ask you what purpose you want to use it for. You want to use it for personal, you choose personal. And if you want business, you choose business. You have free version and you have a paid version. So even the personal one, you can see our premium version. So, and business is business. All the business have team, business, enterprise, and the rest of them. So let me see.
I don't even know where, where I kept my password on this again. Mm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've forgotten my <clears throat> my password on this, so So finally I'm in.
This is um, how it looks like when you log in. So from here, I'm not your screen. Okay. Is it only you or is it everybody? I can see it. You can see it. <laughs> you can see my screen. Yes. Then it must be from the it must be from your own um, From your own end. Can you see it now? Yes, it has come back. Okay. Yes. If you log in into last pass, this is how it's going to look like. So and here from here I say add your first password. So if you want to start storing password. This is where you, you start. From here, you click this button, enter your password. The password, secure notes, address, payment card, uh, back account. This is all you can do here. So anything you want, you can, let's say, password. Then you put the, the domain name of whichever application is it. Um, maybe Facebook or whatever, or email, whatever thing. This is where you put the details. And then you save. And then username, password. This where you add password. And from there, you should be able to click here and save. So that's how we keep on adding and adding and adding, and that is it. So if it's a bank account, you put the name, for instance, you are trying to start the bank account of your company or your client, you're managing the business account on behalf of the person. So, the name and you just fill this form. Account name, type, routine number, suite number, pin number, and that's it. And you finish typing, you save. That is a secure. If you want to add another one, let's say this time bank card. Card number, either it's a credit card, a master card, or debit card. You type, you save. And that's how you keep adding till you can see here that there are so many things. Everything is uh, configured to suit you. Is driving driving license? Is it your password, your passport? Is it your health insurance? Is it a membership of any or email? Let's see email. This email part your username, password. So that's how you add all these things. And it makes your life easy for you. So, and if you want an auto fill, 
can set it for auto fill. Auto fill that's once you click, it will auto generate the password and just you don't need to start typing or the or your detail will just you want to share a password. So that is um how it works. So after adding from here, can actually view. So, but you can see we, we didn't add anything. So that's why nothing is coming out. But we have, if we had um, add our passport, um, if we have saved any data here. So once you we click here, we should be able to see some of the data that we saved. Our notes, addresses, uh, bank card, and the uh, bank. Um, but we don't have anything so far. We didn't save anything. So, and that's it. From here, sharing center, you can, there's a lot of things you can configure to manage your data from here. So there's a lot you can do. So. So if you want to, to, to use the, the last pass, it's very simple. It's not difficult. The user interface is very simple. Well, I know there will be a lot of hidden, hidden things you can do with it, advanced uh, things you can do through this uh, last pass. So if you want to explore more, you can explore more. Uh, there are so many other YouTube videos I can teach you, but this is the basic how to open an um, account here and start storing your client's data here for easy security. All you need is to make sure you know the email address in you know the password to this so um, with that you, if you it won't be difficult for you to start remembering um a lot of you but if you are writing like your client if you are writing their data their contact number their credit card number in your diary and they're storing it in um so somebody can dumble into it. A hacker can you can lose it. Somebody can use it to hack your client's credit card or back and uh, withdraw a huge amount of money. And you are going to be in trouble because all these data are encrusted into your hand. But once you are um, a client or a hiring manager knows that you know how to manage data for instance if they're asking you during the interview they're asking you how do you manage data how do you manage your client's data and you say that uh, let's say how do you manage your client data like um, credit card uh, email and bank bank uh, details and you tell you uh, the hiring manager that uh, you, are, you, are a, you are a very organized person, that um, you have a good uh, detail, you have a very good uh, diary, that we writing everything in that to make sure that you don't, you don't forget it. That will help you to remember whenever you want to use it. <laughs> You've lost the job now. Uh, but when you start to lean the the, the hiring manager or the client that 
you use last pass to manage their business that you store your the bank card you store the um all their details their bank card their address their uh, payment um yeah, their bank details, their credit card, their license, their passport, their insurance policy, email, that you use this powerful LastPass doc, um, software to store it, making sure that you always come here to get it anytime you want. And this will give um, security from any kind of hacking. And they will know that you know what you are doing and it will boost your chances of getting the job because you have you know the pro professional approach and tools needed for data management and security as a virtual assistant so that is it okay and that's um that's it and I think this is um, bringing us to the end of this um, session. Well, I'll try as much as I can to have one more session so we can look at um, up work where you can go to search for work and for some of you who doesn't know how to use up work very well and uh, we'll look at it and that is it but officially this is where this uh, uh, course uh, comes to an end so if you have good knowledge of all these things and applications and you can defend it when they ask you about some of these things we've uh, learned here then if you are not getting any job you're not getting a job as a virtual assistant then i think we need to start uh, looking at the village people what they are doing and that's it Questions? Any question? So, your last assignment is that you will go to um, hunter.io and create an account and uh, do some searching and uh, screenshot and let's see explore it and let's see how you exploit hunter.io and then create an account with um, LastPass so you have a professional touch on how to do that so that will be your, your assignment before we move to Upwork. But officially, we are done. So going to the Upwork is going to be a bonus. And from there, we proceed to our work placement where we will want to get first class experience on any activity, anything we can work and which will reflect on our CV as well that we've done a job as a virtual assistant. So that is it. If you have any question, I'll take it. But if you don't have any question, then I'll say good night for now. <laughs>